The presidency on Tuesday said that contrary to widespread speculations, President Muhammad Buhari does not rely on the opinion of third-party elements, but takes his decision without the backup of the so-called cabals, making allusion to the recent presidential primaries of the All Progressive Congress APC, the presidency via a statement issued by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Malam Kabashel, said President Buhari refused to act as an elected autocrat by ensuring a free and fair primaries devoid of any intervention. He cautioned that those still assailing the APC and the president making conspiracy theories and all manner of speculations needed to understand this important point about the nation's leader. He said, Buhari takes his own decisions and carries them out without the backup of his so-called cabal or backroom boys, noting that while the strong leader meet in the country has lasted for so long, people make assumptions that a leader must dominate everything and even determine electoral outcomes. According to him, luckily for Nigeria, President Buhari does not suffer from such constraints. He refuses to act as the elected autocrat. The president had a clear purpose leading up to the primary to ensure a transparent, free and fair process that will bring back people's faith in democracy by taking good governance up to the grassroots levels. By this alone, people's faith and that of the international community in our democracy has received a major boost since the completion of the APC nomination. The flag bearer has been chosen. He has the president's unwavering support. The journey is victorious. He, however, clarified that the speculations by the media around the president's favorite candidate ahead of the APC primary was expected, especially in a situation where the opportunity to choose a presidential candidate comes once in eight years. He contended that the successful conduct of the Congress and the eventual emergence of the party's flag bearer must have been a disappointment for those who assembled to witness a catastrophe. He said, no intrigue, no division, no disagreement, no defeated candidate rejecting the result, no splits, no third party runs, only determination to rally around the chosen flag bearer to deliver victory and an APC third term in February 2023. The opposition reaction to this successful nomination convention has come by way of a counter offensive so that we do not go on the offensive. The presidential spokesman recalled that there were clear evidence of a conspiracy to destabilize the governing party and defame the president as the media were inundated with made-up stories speculating about the role of the president in the flag bearer contest. Whether I had a favorite candidate and whether maneuvers were made to install them, whether the chosen flag bearer was the president's choice, or another. He said, speculation is easy, but facts are simple. The president always said he had a favored candidate. He said that candidate was whoever was chosen by the APC in the Democratic primary to lead the party at the election. APC primary, Buhari takes decision without Cabal's backup presidency. Presidency is just reacting to comments and speculations um, that um, President Muhammad Buhari is being controlled by the cabals. We know there's a cabal that exists within the presidency. Um, the senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Malam Gabashel, just um, released a statement on behalf of President Muhammad Buhari, stating that Buhari does not take orders, he does not take um, words from anyone that he acts alone, that he only does what he believes or he feels is best for the country. You know, after the APC primaries, there were a lot of uh, um, comments here and their reactions about the primaries that President Muhammad Buhari influenced the primary. And even before the primary itself, Buhari himself made a statement that he had a preferred candidate. I don't know what uh, Gabashel was trying to state here. See Gabashel trying to uh uh 
bend that statement. Buhari said it categorically that he had a favorite candidate. Even in that interview, he was not asked directly that who is your favorite candidate. And he said he would not mention the name of the person. Because if he does, that person's life will be in danger. But Gabashe is stating here that um, Buhari was actually talking about anyone the party chooses at the end of the day. We know that those two things, they don't, they are not together. It's not possible for Buhari to be with. He would have said it that, well, um, whoever the party chooses as a flag bearer, I'm behind that person. I will give that person all of my support. But he said it categorically. I know the speculation at that time started mounting up that probably it was uh, Rotimi and Mechi. Fingers refused to point in the direction of Bola Tinubu because they felt that uh, over time it looks like it has been uh, the relationship has not been so smooth between President Mohamed Buhari and Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu is the national leader of the All Progressive Congress. But we know that at the end of the day it was Bola Tinubu who won the the primaries. And all of the aspirants, APC candidates, uh, presidential aspirants who visited President Mohamed Buhari, he did give all of them a nod. We know he gave everyone a nod that everyone that went to declare their intentions that they wanted to run for presidency, he gave all of them a nod. They yeah, go ahead. He did the same for everyone. So it was difficult at that time to actually uh, point out the favorite one because Buhari gave all of them a nod, 23 of them that bought the, the ticket, all of them got a nod from the president. Well, um, the, uh, Gabashe is stating right now that Buhari does not, um, is not uh, controlled by anyone, that the cabals have no hand in his government, that all he's doing is ensuring that democracy stands, democracy thrives. And he refuses to act as the elected autocrat. That probably that's how some persons are seeing him, or that is how the media is making um, Nigerians to see Buhari. But that is not how Buhari is. That they can take a look at the just concluded convention, how the the contest was free, fair, and even how the contestants who lost out that none of them are rejecting the re results. None of them is saying. But at, during the primary, some of them were saying that this is already rigged. Una Mechi was screaming that the, the election is rigged. But Gabashe is stating here that, that all the aspirants are happy with the outcome of the primaries. No one is complaining. As such, Buhari is doing everything to keep the party together and also to keep the country together without external control. Well, guys, leave us your own thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.